Welcome back to Hashtag Corp Stat Chat. We're going to go ahead and talk about uh, question 5, A, B, C, and D, um, which is talking about trimmed mean and, uh, yeah, just mean in general and how to compare this between mean and median. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this whole page. This is, again, part of your mid-semester review. Um, let's just uh, continue on. Okay, so what we have here are some data points. Uh, we have the reported high temperatures and degrees Fahrenheit for the selected world cities on October on an October day are shown below. So we have all these uh, data points that we're going to be using. Um, so what we're going to do is find the mean just normally. So you can add all these up, uh, which is the sum of x divided by the total number of numbers, um, which in this case is going to be 20. So when we sum all these up, we get uh, what about uh, 1,339. And we're going to divide that by 20, and our mean should end up being 66.95. <clears throat> that's just calculating mean normally, right? And then median, um, you're just calculating median normally. And remember, we have uh, 20 numbers here, so we can just add one, which gives us 21, divided by 2, which will give us the number that we have to count in from one side to get to uh, the actual median. And in this case, it comes out to the 20th, 20.5th number. So 20.5, if we, if we uh, count in, um, it's the 20.5 measurement. Um, <clears throat> when we divide, uh, we end up, we count in from one side and we get 71.5. 71.5. So we count in from one side to the other, and our midpoint, and that's actually really easy, our me median falls in between 71 and 72, so it's just the average between the two. Okay, once we have our mean and our median, what we want to do next is calculate our trimmed mean. Remember, trimmed mean, we're just trimming off 5% from one end and the other. So think of this as trimming the fat off, right? We're trimming 5% of the fat off. And what does it do for us? It gets rid of those outliers. So it's going to readjust our mean uh, to better accurate, to more accurately represent uh, what the data has or what the data is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, to calculate 5%, remember you just take 20, because there's 20 numbers, times 0 0.05, uh, which would end up giving us 18. When we well, Actually, it ends up giving us 1. We're going to chop, chop off one side uh, from each, or one from each, 1 and 1. So now I'm just reevaluating for this set of data. Okay. So once I reevaluate that with 18 numbers, we end up getting 68.5. Five is our trimmed mean, trimmed mean. Okay, now a little side question here, is the data above skewed left, skewed right, or symmetrical? How can you tell? Now what we could do is graph this if we wanted to. We can see this um, on a, in a box and whisker plot. If we do that, we can see the skewed uh, left or skewed right, or it could just be symmetrical. Um, but what we can do differently is see what's the comparison between mean and median mean and median. And in this case, the mean is less than the median. If that happens, then it's going to be skewed left. So skewed left. Because our mean, our mu, is less than our capital M median. So skewed left, mean is less than our median. If it was flipped around, it'd be skewed right, uh, because our mean would be greater than our median. Okay. Of the median or mean, which would you use to describe the center of the data? Okay, we're going to end up using median because it's skewed, right? And that just goes back to uh, question number 5B. Okay, so median because it's skewed left. <clears throat> of the mean and the 5% trimmed mean, which would you use to describe the, the uh, data or the center of the data? And again, this, this question is, is fairly easy because if you get rid of outliers, we're getting a better... Uh, representation of the center of the data. So trimmed mean is going to be the better option. So I'm just going to circle it here. The meaning is uh, no outliers. I guess I should clarify that. There could be one or two outliers that lie within the outliers, if that makes any sense. So if I had another, so say that up here I had 15 um, and then I had 16. 16 would still be considered somewhat of an outlier, but I'm um, slowly eliminating those number of outliers. Um, so in this case, just remember, we're calculating the mean and the median. We're cutting off uh, one from either side for the 5% trimmed mean, because that 5% belongs to that 20 number. So n equals 20, so we're just going to take 0 0.05 times 20 and round to the next whole number. Um, is the data skewed left, skewed right, or symmetrical? It's going to be skewed left because the mean is less than the median. The median is a better choice for the data, and we're going to use 5% trimmed mean to represent the data more clearly because of 
eliminating outliers. All right, thanks for watching. This is hashtag Corp Stat Chat, and I'll see you next time.